With iSpring Learn's Supervisor Dashboard, you can track learner progress in real time. You can see statistics on individual and department learning progress. You don't have to gather this information from different reports anymore. iSpring Learn will collect the most essential data all in one place. Let's see how it works. Only supervisors can see this dashboard, so first things first, you need to make sure an employee is assigned a supervisor role. To do this, head to the Users tab and select Departments over here. Now select the department you want to add a supervisor to and then choose Edit Department. Down here under Supervisor, you can choose to inherit a supervisor from a parent department or assign a new one manually. You can search the name here. OK, now save your changes. Next, head over to the User Portal. The supervisor will see a new tab appear on their panel called My Team. Employee progress is like an open book. Here you can add filters. Just choose when the training started and the type. If you're looking for results of a specific course or recent assessment, select the material here on the right. Down here in the Team Progress section, you can see your team's collective progress on courses and trainings. You'll have data on if they completed courses or not, have them in progress, or haven't started yet. The Employee Results section shows you how many employees have completed a training program and how many haven't started it yet. Select the graph to see a list of employees for each. Next, the User Issues section tells you who may have forgotten about deadlines or have failed to enroll, who has expired certificates, and who has not logged in at all. You can easily customize what information to show in this by going to the settings and tick the boxes that are important to you or unticking boxes you don't want. By the way, you can click on each tag and see the exact list of employees with this parameter below. Down here, you can collect learning statistics on each team member. You can see the date of their last visit and numbers of completed, failed, and overdue courses or expired certificates. Click on the employee profile to view their details. Also, you can send an employee a personal message with feedback or remind them about training. You can keep track of your team progress on both your computer and your smartphone. It's easy to track their progress, check attendance, and send feedback on the results. 